Uh, it's very frustrating to, to end the game the way we did. But, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to, to the Hawks. That's why those guys are number one in the East and, um, you know, just positioning themselves for a playoff run. And, you know, they show what veteran teams do. Uh, on our part, we just got to get better. I mean, there's no excuses. We, we went on a, uh, a drought scoring, and those guys, they, they kind of pushed the pedal to the metal, so to speak. For future situations like this, how would you recommend you want to do differently? Uh, obviously, it's not as simple as just making a shot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is, is it shot selection? Is it patience? Yeah, it's a combination of uh, shot selections, but also uh, just time and situation, knowing time and situation. Uh, I think we, we got to move the ball a little bit better uh, late, late in the game like that. You know, we kind of got stagnant with the basketball. And a couple plays didn't go our way. And those guys capitalized on it. Yo. Defensively, how important was getting Dwayne Dedman back tonight? Very important. He, he covers a lot of mistakes. Uh, you know, we, we, and it allows us wing players to be able to push up on our guys, to get over screens. And uh, we're really not worried about guys going to the basket because he's there to block shots and alter shots. But uh, it was important to get him back. And, you know, I think everybody can see how important he is to this team, especially in defense. The defense, the defense is kind of what helped build that, build that lead. Is it good to yeah. kind of get back to those roots again? It seemed like it slipped, especially when you, when Devin and Dwayne was out and you were out. Yeah, it definitely. Slipped. It was good to see that we were still capable of going out and, and getting stops and allowing our identity to be our, our identity to be a defensive team. However.